In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a more advanced pivot table. So in order to do this, uh, we're going to follow the same process as the last time. So we're going to select uh, the whole range of data in the spreadsheet. And then we're going to come down up, up onto the insert menu and we're going to select pivot table. And this time we're going to make sure that we use uh, a new worksheet. So this follows the same template as the last one. We have uh, the difference being we have lots of different um, options for fields that we can add to the pivot table. So for example, I could choose to display um, the people in this row that play on console or do not play on console. Um, I can do a sum on that by clicking the play on console into this box. Okay, so I can also drag in my gender and put the gender onto filters. So what that then lets me do, it lets me select the particular gender. Okay, so now uh, the people who play on console, I have 17 that do not play on console, which are female, and I have 33 that do play on console that are female. If I select the male option, you can see that 50 of my... Um, uh, my um, survey uh, are males and all of them play on console so I can do that I can then start adding in different um, options into my column so for example I could drag my preference of what game they would like developed into a column there okay and you can see um, of the um, the males um, all of them uh, obviously um, play on console because this is the play on console column 32 of those people would like uh, to have uh, a maze game developed and 18 would like to have an RPG game. So of the females, okay, tw uh, 20, uh, um, 20 would like, um, of the females, 20 uh, um, would like a maze game developed and 30 would like an RPG game developed, totaling 33. And um, the people that do not play on consoles, 12 of them would like a maze game and five of them would like an RPG. So I could do a, uh, change the filter then to look at all of my data. Okay, and you can see overall of the people that do not play on console, uh, that's 17 people, 12 would like a maze game, five would like an RPG. And of the people that do play on console, there are 83 of those, 52 would like a maze game developed and 31 would uh, like an RPG. So you can start playing about with that. You can add further things such as uh, player movement. I can add into a column and you can see there that that adds then um, a breakdown for um, the maze game. So for the maze game, you can see that people do not play on console. 10 of them would like uh, to have arrow keys as a way of movement. And two of them would like to have um, um, WAS and D. And for the RPG game, there are five people there uh, three would like the arrow keys used and two would like the WAS and D. So it can uh, become, become uh, very um, powerful the way you can add and remove columns. I can take out columns if I want to. So I could take out, for example, the preferences by clicking and dragging back onto that, um, uh, the, the field list. Okay, so that's how you create a more advanced pivot table if you decide you need to use it.